Hi, glory to God. Have you ever asked yourself, how am I supposed to make my day great? You know what? This Pastor Peter Shazobo this morning coming to you with God's word. And I'll be showing you how to make your day great. Glory to God. This morning, we'll be continuing from um, the book of e Ezekiel. Right, right, right. Ezekiel chapter 37. And I will read verse 9 and 10. <coughs> And the scripture reads, It said, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, Prophesy, son of man, And say to the wind, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O bread, And breathe upon this land, That they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, And the bread came, into them and they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army then said he unto me son of man these bones are the whole house of israel behold they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost we are cut off therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Hallelujah. This scripture is awesome. God is speaking to you this morning. In fact, the Lord laid this word specially in my heart this morning. And I feel strong in my spirit that the Lord is bringing this word to you, asking me to prophesy over your life. Exactly. Just like the Lord gave Ezekiel this vision in the valley of dry bones, like I shared the day before yesterday. And the scripture lets us know the Lord told Ezekiel to prophesy over those dry bones. And he did. And the, 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 the dry bones located their bones. And the Bible said, they uh, were formed, uh, flesh came upon them, and uh, the, the, they, they lived as, they, they became like dead bodies on the valley, yet without uh, bread, without bread in them, without life in them, they, they became dead bodies. And then in verse 9, the Lord commanded Ezekiel again, he said, prophesy to the four winds, prophesy to the four winds. The, the Amplified actually said, he said, then said he unto me, prophesy to the breath and spirit. Because the wind represents breath and spirit. So he said, prophesy to the breath and spirit, son of man, and say to the breath and spirit, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath and spirit, and breathe upon these lanes that they may live. So the, uh, the scripture tells us, Ezekiel did just like he was commanded. He prophesied upon this lane. Upon this lane, he prophesied to the winds. And the wind came upon them, and bread came upon them, and they lived. And we know that without bread, man cannot live. Without bread, the body is lifeless. And you know what? The Lord was not only interested in restoring the body from dry bones, putting sinews upon them, putting flesh upon them, but he was also interested in putting bread into them so that they live. And the scripture lets us know, when this bread came upon this lane, upon these dead bodies, they stood up on their feet. They stood up on their feet. And the Bible declares that they stood up an exceeding great army. They were a great army. Ha! Ah, that shows this was an army that was sleeping. This was a great army that was uh, that was in the form of dry bones earlier because their full potentials was not known until the Lord touched those bones and put life in them. And when the Lord touched those bones and put life in them, they stood up on their feet. They stood up on their feet and became a great army. You know what? Many uh, there are today who have greatness in them, who have the seed of greatness in them. <coughs> Sorry. And they have these potentials to become great armies. Yes, great armies in their, in, their, in, their, in their work for the Lord, in the ministry. 
great army in, in their relationship with others. Great army uh, to be used of God mightily in blessing other lives, in restoring lives, in helping lives, in uplifting many from their state of helplessness to a place of, uh, of, of, of a better prospect. But then, right now, because they have not um, sought the Lord, because they have not had this one-on-one -on -one touch with the Lord, they seem not to be living at the very best of their potentials. But you know what? Thus says the Lord to you, that breath is coming upon you. Yes, life is coming upon you. Sinew is coming upon you. Flesh is coming upon you. You receiving the life necessary. You receiving the life needed. You receiving the touch needed. And I prophesy to the four winds that breath and spirit is coming upon you. Breath and spirit is coming upon you. And you are rising up on your feet to become that great army that you have been made. That potential that the Lord has place in you is coming alive in the name of Jesus. As you've woken up this morning, you've woken up to a brand new day full of great things, full of good things, full of great stuff that the Lord has prepared for you. You know what? You're not going to let that hopelessness bring you down. You're not going to let that, you know, that feeling of, you know, um, not being able to achieve um, great things, not being able to move forward. You're not going to let that feeling of distrust. You're not going to let that feeling, you know, of depression bring you down. This morning, the Lord actually showed me a situation of depression, a one who is in a state of being down, and the Lord showed me that he's causing them to come out of it, out of their grave, like he showed us in scripture this morning. Uh, in Ezekiel. And something very interesting that the Lord showed Ezekiel after that he spoke about this uh, dry bone incident and he restoring them to a, a mighty great army. Then in verse 11 he said, uh, thus says the Lord, uh, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. So this were his own people. These were his own people that were in a state of dryness in the, in the, in the first uh, instance. They were in a state of dryness. He said, they have said. You know, this is people were complaining. They said, our hope had, are lost and uh, our bones are dried. You know, this was the confession of God's people. This was the confession of God's people. Their own confession was that their hopes, their bones are dried and their hopes are lost. And that's why God gave this vision to Ezekiel, letting them know that no matter how dry their bones are and no matter how uh, lost their hopes were, that he was going to restore them and was going to bring them out of their grave. You know what? I don't care about how dry your situation is. I don't care how lost, uh, how much you have lost in your life, in your business, in your health, in your relationship, in your family, in your academic. I don't care about how much you've lost concerning even your finances. But you know what? The Lord is bringing his word to you today. Thus says the Lord that the Lord is bringing you out of that grave. He's bringing you out of that situation. He's bringing you out of that loss. He's causing you to you know, have a, a, a restoration that will repay you double for every trouble. In the name of Jesus, you're coming out of it. This is a brand new day and it's a season to walk and live in the blessing. You don't have any business with depression. You are coming out of depression. You are coming out of hopelessness. It doesn't matter what's happening around you. It doesn't matter what the politician says. It doesn't matter what the economy is saying. Uh, just recently, uh, this morning, I read that in some areas, um, they, they, they are declaring uh, some areas as red zones again, all um, for the third wave, they call it right now, because of the COVID emergency. But you know what? I Like I told the people in the church, I told them the Lord who kept you through the first wave, the Lord who kept you through the second wave, the same Lord is alive and well and it's going to keep you whether through the third fifth seventh hundredth wave whatever number of wave it doesn't count the same lord who kept you through the first is keeping you through all them all so you're not going to be moved by how they brandish it you're not going to be moved by the tag that they place on the pandemic you're not going to allow that depress you you're not going to allow that bring you down you're not going to allow that bring your morals down you know what you're going to come out victorious on all count just like the lord kept you through the first instant the first wave, the second wave is keeping you all through.
too. He's the same God. He's alive and well. So don't let this bring your hopes down. You know what? You rise up to be that great army that the Lord has made you to be. The touch of the Lord is coming upon you now. I prophesy grace is locating you. I prophesy unlimited grace is at work in your life and in your situation. <coughs> Your family is receiving this uplifting that comes from the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God coming from the west, not east and south, is uplifting you and setting you upon your feet to attain those great potentials that He has deposited in you. It's your season. It's your time. It doesn't matter what the situation looks like right now. It doesn't matter what the circumstances look around you right now. But you know what? The Spirit of the Lord is giving you that extra force is giving you the needed push is giving you the needed support and helping you to become all that is called you to be yes and for you is not born again this is the time to call upon the name of the lord yes for there's no other hope than jesus christ and this is the time to call upon him and make him the lord of your life the scripture tells us he said for whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved in Acts of the apostles 2 verse 21 and you want to do that today so you want to repeat this prayer after me you say father in the name of jesus i come to you just as i am a sinner but i have received your word i believe that you send your son jesus christ as a perfect sacrifice for my sin that he died he was buried and on the third day rose again for my justification and today i I have been delivered from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. And if you made that prayer from the depth of your heart, you were born again. Welcome to the family of God. I want to admonish you to look at a Bible-believing church in the city where you live. Join that church so that you'll be groomed up and trained in the things of God. And you know what? If peradventure you live anywhere around Padova in Italy, I want to invite you specially to be our guest at Healing Grace Christian Assembly via J. Avanzo number 17, just behind the Padova train station. When you go in the Achella direction, yes, just beside the Policia Locale, you find a yellow door post. You walk right into the first floor, to the first floor, and you find us there. On Sundays by 10 o'clock, we have our Sunday schools. And by 11 o'clock, we have our main service. And actually, tomorrow, we're having a special time. Yes, because I and my family will be giving, doing Thanksgiving in church tomorrow. So we are inviting you specially. Yes, be our guest tomorrow, specially for the Thanksgiving. And it's going to be awesome and explosive to the glory of God. So we are expecting you tomorrow in church. And on Tuesdays, remember we have our prayer meetings by um by 6 30 in the evening to 8 p.m we'll be expecting you it's it will be time for prayers and uh, for us to agree with you for a miracle so expect a miracle as you come and we'll be expecting you with open hands yes open hands so we want to see you tomorrow in church and it's going to be awesome yeah and if you've not subscribed on our youtube channel ensure to do that uh this morning the name is peter shazob on youtube ensure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell and when next we post audios and new video messages you'll be among the first persons to receive it and um ensure to share this good news this morning with your friends and loved ones with at least 10 of them there's so much bad news in circulation right now so much discouraging news in circulation and you want to be a carrier of good news so ensure to share this good news to encourage your friends to start off with a great day yeah do it now not later now and as you do it god bless you and you know what i'm going to wish you have a great day god bless you